Welcome back to the Star Wars Show Live. I am joined now by Chief uh, Visual Effects Supervisor and Chief Creative Officer of ILM, Mr. John Knoll. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> so, you've, yeah. so you've had kind of a big weekend, huh? I'm sorry? You've had kind of a big weekend, huh? Yeah, it's been busy. <laughs> now, so tell us, you pitched the idea for Rogue One initially. What made you come up with that idea? Well, it, it comes from the opening two paragraphs of the crawl in episode four. Uh, and while it's, uh, it's just sort of exposition for that film, you know, it's hard to read those lines without thinking, boy, that, that's a, that could be a really cool story. Yeah, and, and we're all really looking forward to hearing. I mean, I thought about that when I first saw it. Like, how did that happen? Um, yeah. So Rogue One looks to be a decidedly grittier Star Wars film. How do you approach the, uh, the effects differently in that, as opposed to something like uh, a prequel or, or The Force Awakens? Uh, well, one of the, the fun challenges on, on Rogue One is uh, Garrus' shooting style is, uh, is kind of a verite, almost documentary kind of style. And that, that means that we, we don't plan a lot of this stuff out super far in advance. You know, a lot of times that the first time I'm seeing an effect shot is while we're actually shooting it. So there's, uh, there's a bit of a spontaneity to that. There's a bit of an unplanned documentary sort of you happen to be there to capture it sort of vibe to it. And it's going to make the shots harder to do because uh, there aren't always blue screens where you want them or uh, uh, those kinds of, of uh, bits of planning that, that but we're rolling with the punches and uh, I think the shots are going to look yeah. kind of amazing because um, you know rather than the, the sort of artificially composed shot to, to feature a particular thing, it's just, it's there. Right. And I, I think it's going to be really special Yeah, everything that. that I've seen so far has this really incredible texture to it. It, it, it feels so real. I think that's going to be a really interesting change for, for fans to see. Yeah, absolutely. So, John, you, you created, you co-created Photoshop, and you yeah. innovated digital effects. And now you've come up with the idea of a Star Wars movie. What's next for you? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, it, it's, my whole career has sort of been uh, just uh, pursuing, oh, that's a cool idea. Let me do that for a while. So who knows, whatever the next cool thing is. And there's a lot of cool things around us here. What, what do you think it is about Star Wars that makes people want to create all of these props and costumes and, and really latch on to, to the saga? I think it's a really cool world. Uh, it, or it's more than a world, it's a whole universe. Uh, there are, you know, hundreds, thousands of planets, thousands of characters, uh, events that span decades. So there are so many different places to go, things to explore. Uh, I, I think it, it just captures people's imagination yeah, that way. The possibilities are endless. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we will be back with more Star Wars show live from Star Wars Celebration Europe 2016 in just a minute. Thank you.